hello everyone uh, so in this video i am going to explain that how we can debug our code okay so uh, in jquery ajax how we can debug our code uh, if we have done our coding in jquery ajax in laravel uh, and we want to debug that to find to identify some issue if some issue is coming okay so in our La laravel ecom admin panel uh, if you remember that we have done uh, this current password okay so while updating the password file updating the admin password we have done this current password so that uh, user can enter the current password first uh, then only he can able to change the password he can able to uh, give new password okay so uh, if the current password is incorrect then it will show the incorrect message and if the current password is correct then it will show the correct message you can see okay so uh, it is working like this uh, i will first tell you that how it is working then i will uh, create some issues uh, i will create issue uh, in the function i will create issue in the route i will uh, create issue um, in in the jquery itself so i will create some issues myself and uh, will try to resolve will try to find uh, those issues in console and will try to resolve those issues okay so that you can also do that thing uh, that is the task of uh, that uh, that debugging kind of thing you can do at your end to identify the issue and you can resolve that easily okay so uh, first of all uh, i will open like uh, you can open this one uh, with the right click and inspect element so every browser gives you this option to inspect element okay so you just need to uh, uh, right click and open this one inspect element okay and i will also do this one this, this one you can clear from this one uh, this one you can clear like all uh, the things that you can clear here must be something given first i will click on this network uh, okay this one i will open network here and will clear up this one clear like this one clear network items okay so i will click on this one now it is clear okay now it is ready like if i will uh, type current password it will show that which page it is calling you can see it is it is calling this page check current uh, check hyphen current hyphen password so many times it is calling so when we will type every character it is calling the page okay so you can easily able to if you will click this one you can easily able to come to know that false response is coming okay so false response is coming out of this uh, url and if in case some error comes then this url turns into red okay and you can check the error as well i will show you that thing so uh, i will also show you in firefox okay though persons who are doing in firefox i will also show in firefox and uh, and safari side by side and uh, and chrome if someone is using in chrome then uh, the same process he can do in chrome as well okay right click and open the inspect um, uh, that uh, that developers tool uh, you can open uh, after right click then click on inspect okay so same thing uh, one can follow in uh, in chrome as well but i will not uh, pick chrome because in live session i have done all three browser together and it will stop uh, working so i am making this video right now okay so uh, i will open the admin panel here as well and after opening i will uh, go to update admin password here i will do right click and inspect element here as well i open this one and open network okay so here also i will type something then it will show uh, the check current password and here also it will show the response response is false okay so everything is coming here so now i will intentionally create some issue okay so uh, i will open this page settings uh, admin settings is the page and this one update password we are going to update password and going here you can see it is uh, coming from the jquery and this current underscore password and this uh, id we are using for our jquery for uh, for picking up this event okay so i open the jquery and jquery is located in admin script okay this is the jquery and this one you can see current underscore password is here and this one we are doing uh, we uh, every time we type something we are picking uh, from this id and from this id uh, we are uh, we are checking key up uh, event with key up event uh, we are getting the current password you can just alert this one okay 
I will just alert this one if uh, now I will refresh and you can see that every time you type something it will show you alert message okay so it is showing this one alert so first thing is you need to check your jquery that jquery is working fine or not if jquery is working fine then it will alert it will alert whatever you are sending there then it will alert if in case it will not alert this thing okay if it will not alert this thing then what you need to do you need to first give simple alert that jquery is working or not you first you need to check that jquery is working or not okay so you need to do like this alert return false okay so if jquery is working fine then it will show you alert okay so now i will refresh and will type something it will show a test okay it means that jquery is working fine okay first thing is you need to check your jquery is working or not okay if the jquery is working then we can move forward and here in safari as well if you will type something it will show you test okay so if jquery is working fine then move uh, then we can move further okay so now see jquery is working fine. and if in case jquery is not working then you need to check your jquery why it is not working the, then you need to open that uh, certain page like our jquery exists in this front layout file and you can go there and check its path that jquery is uh, coming or not okay you can check in network in network itself uh, uh, yeah in network itself all the files are coming here okay then jquery will be come in red it will show the jquery in red and you need to correct its path okay so you need to do uh, you need to make sure that your jquery is working fine okay so if jquery is working fine then you will first alert <coughs> in your function in your jquery function that that alert is coming then it means that jquery is working fine then we can move forward okay so after that alert uh, we are going to print our current password that user is typing this one every time if i pass something it is going to print this one okay so uh, now i will refresh once again so if i will type something see i type sf it is coming up here okay so it means password is also going so it is fine okay up till this one is fine okay so i will now make some mistake like i update here uh, check current password see here we have done check hyphen current hyphen pwd this is our route that we are calling from jake from ajax now we are calling this uh, route from ajax okay now we are using ajax because we want to show either our password is correct or not correct and this thing we can only uh, uh, do with ajax okay after calling the route and after uh, route will call the function and from the function itself we will check that the password is correct or not that the user have entered okay so here what i am going to do i am going to open the web.php file and will open this one check current password here we will make sure that route is matching or not okay see route is matching right now now i will make someone mistake like if you have made this mistake like you if you have done the wrong route here check current password this route does not exist at all okay now it will show you issue now if you will refresh and lead here and if you will type something then you can see error message is coming okay and you can click here and it will show you error clear clear error in firefox i am using see check current password in network i am just clicking on check current password and the error is coming in front of you that the error is not found as the exception so this error means that route does not exist that route not found okay this is the clear message uh, here it is giving it is showing that this is the route problem might be the route does not exist you must uh, you must know after this thing that you have made some mistake with the route okay and it's uh, in safari as well if you will do this thing the same as you will come you can empty this one all the earlier you can uh, empty so that it uh, it will clear you so like this one error message is coming and see it converts to red like i have told you so you can click this one and see error message is coming not found as section okay it means that route does not exist okay so now you are no uh, you come to know that okay i have made some mistake with the route this route does not exist so that's why it is happening so you crack the route okay so that is fine so now another thing is like if you have uh, made some another function if you are calling some another function that doesn't exist like check card con con password uh, like this one i have put one here 
and this function does not exist at all now i'm going to refresh and i'm going to see what error it will show again now i'm going to empty this one i'm going to clear all everything i'm going to clear first because i don't want that mm, otherwise i need to move up and down that where is my error where is my error so i will clear the earlier data okay so now i am going to type see error is again coming and now this time i will see that what error is coming see it is clearly showing 500 status error mean, means it is some internal error and the error we will click on this one and now it is clearly showing check current password one does not exist see it is clearly showing you that uh, see message here method uh, this admin controller method that is located in admin folder and in that admin controller method means and, and admin controller uh, in, in inside admin controller check current password one does not exist okay so it is clearly saying that this method does not exist at all so we now come to know okay this method does not exist so either we have not created this message uh, that method that function we have not created or we have made some mistake we have uh, we have uh, made some spelling mistake some uh, some uh, typo error okay so we need to make sure that function is correct so we can resolve this issue after checking that our function is correct or not function exists or not this function is correct and this function is located in our admin controller we must make sure that this function is located here or not i will just copy this function that this function is located in admin controller uh, we will make sure okay so if we have made some error then we are going to resolve okay so now this one will work fine when we will check that our function is there and it is working fine okay now another one like if you have made some uh, error in your function like if there is some error like uh, if this current password you are not uh, you by mistake done here current underscore password but that variable you are not passing from there you are passing current underscore pwd but here you have done current underscore password by mistake now it will show you another error i am going to refresh and will show you error here i am going to delete the earlier data and now i will type something and error is coming i will click on ok now see again this one 500 internal error i will click on this one see it is clearly showing undefined index it is clearly telling you that current underscore password does not exist this variable does not exist okay so you come to know that this variable does not and it is also showing that where it is uh, where this has error message is coming it error message is coming is admin controller.php so you uh, must know and it is also showing you line also see line 64 line 64 it is telling you everything that it the error error has come admin controller.php controller and in line 64 and here this one so it is clearly telling you everything that how you can resolve the issue you just need to debug like this and can resolve easily so in safari as well if you will do and then uh, it will show you the error message and it will convert uh, the edit to red and if you will click on this one line 64 file is admin control.php and error message is undefined index current underscore password here is the error message so i will check okay current underscore password is incorrect so i will correct this one and will make sure everything is fine okay so now it will work fine now it will you do now it is working fine okay so like this uh, you can check everywhere you can check in your jquery you can check it in your function you can make sure that your route is correct okay and you can inspect like this okay you can inspect you can identify your error in network okay so you can do like this in developers tool you just need to open right click and inspect element then you just need to go to network and make sure uh, to empty the earlier one and you can do it here so every developer can do this thing it is very simple and it will help you to debug your uh, code and to identify the uh, error and you can resolve it easily okay so like this you can do in any browser uh, you can do in firefox and here if i'll click on here then now it will work fine okay so now if you will type correct one 
then it will show the correct if you will uh, type in uh, incorrect one then it will show incorrect okay so uh, in the same way you can do in chrome as well okay so in every browser you can easily resolve your jquery ajax errors if in case it will come and another error it will come if in case 419 error will come in laravel then uh, here in admin panel we are doing one thing we are putting our routes under this one verify CRF token but in front we are not going to do we are going to uh, add csrf token okay here you need to make sure that you have added here like admin check current password we have added under verify crf token we escape that security check here for our laravel admin panel okay but you can add this one so for that you need to add that csrf token in your ajax code in your ajax in your jquery code you need to add that token okay i will show you that one in front end we are going to start front end very soon and i'm going to show you that thing very soon that how to uh, resolve that issue if that issue will come csr token issue will come then how to resolve that issue now we uh, can you can simply add here your route you can simply add verify crf token and this issue will not come up if in case 419 error will come okay so like this you can resolve your issues okay so that's all have a nice time goodbye